Obi ran most hateful, divisive, polarizing campaign that pitched Christians against Muslims by Onanoga. So by Onanoga now has uh, started this propagandist as the uh, media AD for the uh, president. This guy is beginning to talk just because uh, I'm sure Peter Obis and obedience have uh, decided to be the real opposition now to APC. So by another guy is wants to prove that he's prepared to counter them as opposition. That is why he's saying everything, even the ones that do not apply. Hmm. So by another, by another guy is not saying that will be run the most hateful, divisive, polarizing campaign that picked Christians against Muslims. Is that true? Let's see. The special advisor to the president on information and strategy, Bayan Anuga, has said the presidential candidate of the Labour Party in the February 25, 2023 presidential election, Peter Obi, ran the most hateful, divisive, polarizing campaign that pitched Christians against Muslims and one ethnic group against the other. Anuga made the statement in a reaction to the press conference by Peter Obi on Monday, November 6th, condemning the judiciary on the supreme court judgment affirming president bola Ahmed Tinubu as the winner so this is the full text of what uh Bayananga said we are at a loss as to how the copycat will be and his faction of labor party convinced themselves uh, they won an election in which they came a distant thought the grand delusion that made mr obi believe he could have won a national election where he ran the most hateful, divisive, and polarizing campaign that pitched Christians against Muslims and one ethnic group against the other in a multi-ethnic and multi-religious society like Nigeria should be a matter for deeper examination. At the press conference where he tried in vain to gaslight Nigerians with false claims and innuendos, Mr. Obi contradicted himself. He was the beneficiary of judiciary pronouncement in the past now castigating the same court because it, his judgment did not go his way. Mr. Obi claimed the Supreme Court justices did not consider public opinion in delivering what has been applauded as the most profound judgment in an election appeal where the Labour Party candidate presented the most watery and unreasonable petition before any court in the history of electoral cases in Nigeria. Hmm. So he made false allegations of rigging and other electoral malpractices, yet could not produce any evidence to back up his claims at both the court of the first instance and at the apex court. In a failed effort to mobilize and retain the support of his supporters, okay, Obi gave them a fallen, a fallen hope that he won the election and would prove it before the court. Throughout the trial, his lawyers didn't present any alternative result different from the results INEC uploaded on the IRF portal and the ones signed by all party agents from the 176,000 polling units. We wonder how the Labour Party candidate expected the courts to do justice on the basis of rumors, lies and false narratives by sponsored partisans and fanatical members of his obedient movement. We expected the Labour Party candidate to know that the Supreme Court or any other court does not give judgment based on public opinion and mob sentiments. Judicial pronouncements are based on evidence, precedents, and the rule of law. Hmm. Having admitted that the Supreme Court ruling brought an end to the litigation and any challenge to the bona fide of President Bola Ametinubu as the validly elected leader of Nigeria and commander-in-chief of the armed forces, Obi should have congratulated uh, President Tinubu for his victory and pledge his support in the spirit of statesmanship but instead he brought up extraneous uh, matters that he thought the apex court would have considered to declare him the winner in my view the drowning of be just like article was merely attempting to hold on to straw in, re in raking up new allegations which exist only in his imagination and that of his hordes of supporters how admonition to our admonition to Mr. Obi is to find another worthwhile vocation to engage his time henceforth, having been rejected by majority of Nigerians who didn't consider him qualified to lead our country. Nigerians rejected Peter Obi and his 
demagoguery at the pole because he poses present and future danger to the peace, progress, and stability of our country. Obi's antecedents as governor of Anambra for eight years didn't inspire any confidence as someone capable of running a country like Nigeria. No tangible records of achievement in the state. He governed and recommended him for the presidency of Nigeria. If Mr. Peter Obi truly believes in Nigeria, the time to prove it is now when all men and women of goodwill are rallying support for President Tinubu in his determination to lead a new era of prosperity, inclusive governance, and economic growth in Nigeria. Finally, we welcome Obi and his party to play the role of the opposition and start preparing for another shot at the presidency in 2027. We hope by then he would campaign on issues and not whip up religious and ethnic sentiment as he did in the last uh, election. <laughs> By your Nanoga. So, with all that has happened from election till now, he believes that Obi played the most divisive, hateful, and polarizing campaign, Abi. So, what did the um, APC do, especially in Lagos, where um, the likes of uh, um, um, MC Oluomo and all the thugs? that uh, Tinubu and APC used in Lagos when they came and said that if you are not voting Tinubu, don't ever come out. Igbos must leave Lagos. So what was that? These people, uh, they start their own propaganda and they want people to believe them. Now, the next thing they did, even after the election, was to start demolishing assets owned by Igbos in Lagos, especially properties, landed properties. Now they're claiming their lands gradually. So what do you have to say? Yeah. But Nanoga is just just because Peter B and the Labour Party are now they say they are ready to play the opposition. So he also she is also getting ready to counter the opposition force. That is what I say here, yeah. because all they are saying are exactly what APC started. They did it in Lagos, did it in Ogun, did it in Port Harcourt River State, did it in several other states. It was APC that introduced violence into the 2023 general election. But the guy. He's just speaking here, hoping that everybody will accept what he's saying, hook, line, and sinker. Of course, their supporters will accept it. Somebody say, why are you and your master afraid of an Igbo man? Eh? That is the problem. I'm not surprised when this stupid man never get a appointment. He was quiet. But as wicked advisor, I am done. Okay. Uh, I'm done the talk, idiot. I'm done the talk, yes. Okay, so do you think they will ever agree for a Christian Christian candidate? They will never. This satanic apostle called Ananoga is always on Kolos. Tifnubu, Shetima, Muslim, Muslim, Boko Haram, presidential candidate, even after Satan, Muslim, Buhari. Okay, with the divide and rule syndrome of APC Lagos, where do we start to talk about your atrocities, Mr. Ananoga and Tifnubu? <laughs> he will lose again, woefully in 2027. Don't worry. Yeah. And that's what we say. I don't expect sense from one answering your name. Someone with a Christian Muslim ticket is a religious by God, but someone with Muslim Muslim ticket is not. The killing and begging, I am your region, okay, we never stop because, okay, and uh, one single truth is not found among your people. Exactly. Exactly. Good advice. Okay. So, uh, tips will always support tips, generation of tips, APC. Onanoga that I know is an idiotic by God. So the people who said, if you are not voting APC, you should go home, are sent, Sabi. Exactly. How did Peter B do what you accuse him of? In real life, if the two are vehicles to buy between Tinubu and Obi, which one will you buy? Eh? May your health be like Tinubu, say amen. <laughs> So the fact that remains that all the things they started and they promulgated and they propagated during the election are the things that are trying to accuse of of. And that is uh, actually not fair. So thank you for listening. And that is what is coming from Bayer Onanuga.